Hello, and welcome back. It's so good to see you. So today we have a haul, but not just any haul. It's like a Halloween shopping haul, decorations, that kind of thing. Um, so every year I always get new decorations because I can't not buy decorations. I can't. <laughs> and they always come up with new stuff every year. Every year there's new stuff and so I have to have it. And I usually go shopping at Dollar Tree so everything is a dollar twenty-five now so it's like it's not that big of a deal. You know what I mean? Because sometimes like I don't know the stuff that I get from Dollar Tree it eventually gets like dated and it's like <laughs> I don't like that, or I've been looking at it for too many years, and I'm like, I need to get new signs, or something like that, you know, and it's just so easy, because Dollar Tree is so cheap, so, anyway, um, there are two things that I got, uh, one from H-E-B, and one from Walmart, but I'll tell you what, what those are, and how much they were, or whatever, um, but anyway, so, let's get into the haul, the Halloween spooky decorations haul. <laughs> it's not really spooky, but, you know. Okay, but there is a lot of it. Because my kids, their playroom, I always decorate their playroom. But last year I decor decorated their playroom and I was like, this stuff is kind of like babyish, you know? Like very kiddish. And it's like, they're not babies anymore, so they need more... I don't know, maybe less glitter. <laughs> I love glitter. But you know what I mean. Like, less bright, like, oh my god, boo, type things, you know. So, I got I got a bunch of new things. Not, not a lot, but, you know. Okay, so the first thing that I got... <laughs> it's a... Uh, what is this? It's a skeleton hand. I don't know what it is about. Oh, look at my hands. <laughs> I don't know what it's about. Like, if you're supposed to, like, stick it in the ground or just put it... But I'm going to put it, like, coming out from behind their TV. <laughs> you know? Because uh, their TV's on this big, like table thing, and I, I'm going to put decorations around their stuff, you know, uh, but anyway, my husband saw this, and I was like, oh my gosh, that would be so cool, coming out from underneath the TV, I don't know, I just got one, uh, but I liked it, because it, it didn't look like their typical, like, like, they usually have, like, these white plastic bones, and they all look like, like fake plastic, whatever, and this, obviously, it, it is fake plastic, but it looks better, it looks better, I don't know, I liked it, so, I got it, and then I got them this, this is gross, but, look at this, Ooh. it's a rat, oh, it's a squeaky rat, I better cut that tag off so that the the kids don't know it's squeaky because this will drive Ava crazy. <laughs> Ew, but it's a rat. Oh, rats, gross. Gross. So, got that. Uh, and then I got this at HEB. This is something I got at HEB, and I think it was like, it's probably like three bucks. But I just thought it was so cute. This, it, it says party favors, but whatever. There are six. I'm trying to get them to like face a certain way. This is the front. It is by Destination Holiday. It's just an H-E-B brand. But look at the little ghosts. They're stackable pencils. So once this pencil uh, gets dull, you take them off and then you pop them onto this guy and then this guy is a fresh pencil this guy is a fresh pencil this guy is a fresh pencil so 
How cool is that? They're little ghosties. My kids are going to love this. They have not seen them yet. Um, but I'm going to give them to them. Uh, I'll put like two in their pencil bag at school. And then they can have, you know, some here as well. So, cool. I think. Okay. Um, oh, and my daughter, she has been obsessed with doing her nails, like the artificial nails. Uh, and Dollar Tree had a bunch of like Halloween-ish nails. Um, so I got two packs. These are by LA Colors and this is Love the Glow. So they, they do glow in the dark. Uh, this says they're coffin shaped. Mm, I don't know about that. Uh, and it comes with 12 pieces. But it's like orange and white, like checker. But the white, it um, glows in the dark. So, very cool. Anyway, so I got these. And then I also got her these these are purple with green slime i don't know if you can see it but it's green slime ew now this doesn't come with the glue or anything but we have special brush on glue uh maybe in the next like empties haul that i do i'll show you the, the thing because i can't think of the name of it right now but it works fantastic fantastic so I got her those and then I got some tabletop decor but I don't just put them on tables like I've got this thing in my kitchen where the cabinets are and I put them at the top of the the cabinets but I also have this I guess it's a table I don't know in my living room I could put this on there I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I have not decided I have to look Obviously, by the time this video has come out, decorations are everywhere. Uh, but, I don't know. Maybe I can do like a Halloween decor tour or something. I don't know. Anyway, so we have this. This says, pick your poison. We have Moonlight Elixir, Spider Venom, Highly Toxic, use at own risk there's just a wolf howling and then whatever it is it's, it's deadly so but pick your poison and then we have a bunch of wooden elixir things so this is dried frogs. I see, I'm thinking that these can go on top of my kitchen cabinets, but we'll see. Uh, dried frogs. Doesn't he look like the, the frog from Frog and Toad? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh, it says harvested under a blood moon from the swamps of the Forgotten Realm. Ooh. It's got like this little burlapy death tag on it. I don't know. Uh, this one has the burlapy death tag as well. This is Siren's Song Elixir distilled from the haunting melodies of the deep sea induces dreams of instant of distant shores mystic breeze and Pro Potions Co. Looks like it's a... Uh, well, I guess it's a, a siren or something. But it looks like it's a, a dead little mermaid. Ugh. Yikes. So I got that. And then... Ooh, these have spiders on them. Gross. Um, this is Crimson moon tonic two fluid ounces since 1778 and there's a 
gross little spider on there. Ew. Ew. So I got that one. And then we have this one. It says keep chilled. It is distilled rat poison shake before use. And there's a spider. But I think this would be, I don't want to say cute. I don't think Halloween is cute, but you know what I mean. I think it would look good on the top of the, the kitchen cabinets. Uh, and then we have some tombstones. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with these, but this is just rest in peace. And there's a little black cat in a black hat, and it's sitting on a skull. And it looks like it's dirty, but I think it's supposed to look that way. You know, because it's all old and creepy. Ugh. So. And then we have Tom Goner Tomb. I don't know what I'm doing with these, but I needed to get things that weren't too babyish, you know. And then I have this thing, which it's like a lacy spider web. Let me see if I can, if you can see it better like that. This is a table runner and this is uh, like what I'm gonna put in along the table of, in, I don't know what that table is called. It's like an accent table, but it's real long, you know? Uh, in my living room. I also have like that gray, it's, it's almost like mummy drape type thing. I, I haven't decided if I'm going to use that or this. It's going to be a process this year. I don't know what to do. <laughs> but anyway, so I got that. And then I got this, which I absolutely love. It is a metal tin. Okay, you can see it now. It's just a bunch of pocus pocus. Now I'm gonna have it sitting up like this, so it's like a sign, you know, but you can use it as like a little tray, you know, but no, I'm not doing that. And it's got a cauldron, and then we've got some baths. I don't know, I just like this, and I got this from the five below section, so it was five. Five bucks. But I just liked it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be putting beside it or anything, so I guess we'll see. Uh, and then my daughter, she picked this sign out. She has a sign, but she was like, no. She saw this and immediately wanted it. So I said, okay. So this says, Welcome Halloween. And it is... It's almost like a blood moon. Uh, you've got the witch flying on the broom, and you've got bats. And they are glitter, but it's not like a kiddish type of sign, you know? So, anyway, she picked it out, so this is the sign that's going to be going out or on her door. Oh, look, the moon. You can see the, the man in the moon. If you believe that put a man on the moon. I don't know why that song just came into my head, but anyway. That. Uh, and then I got this other sign just because I really liked it. It's got a longer string on it, but it says haunted. I turn back if I were you. And there's a spider. And yes, there is glitter, but again, it's not, it's not kiddish, you know? trying to transition from all the kiddish stuff because they're basically grown little adults, you know? They can't be having little baby ghosties floating around and stuff. God, how embarrassing. <laughs> oh, and I also got them these little skeletons to go on each side of their TV stand thing. So we have this one. I don't really like these that much, but they do. And it comes with like this little, 
it's like on a pedestal type thing, but it's, it's just plastic. I think the head is plastic as well. It is. But this is like, uh, I don't know how to describe what that is, but it, it's got like a green teal color and then purple, but it like changes, you know? I don't know. So, this one. And then we have a second one, and this one is purple and gold. I don't like that his chin has that. Maybe it's a little leftovers from a goatee. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, oh, it's called a skull stand. Okay. To me, this is just tabletop decor, but whatever. Okay, and more signs, and then we'll get on to more decor. So, this is a sign that I got that's going to go into the entrance of their playroom. It says, Welcome. And yes, the welcome is in glitter, but it doesn't look like a baby. No baby signs. But you have all these different things, and then you have the skull and moonlight elixir. Oh, we have some moonlight elixir. Uh, and then you've got spider webs and just. You know, so that is going to be a sign going into the entrance of their playroom. And then this next sign my husband picked out, it's going to go in that up and down area that's in between our living room and kitchen. Let me hold it back. It says beware. It does say in glitter though, but it's black glitter, so that makes it creepy. <laughs> And there are these, like, crows or something. I don't really like them. I think they could have done a better job with the crows, but it's $1.25. What are you going to do? Uh, and then it's got spider webs. And at the bottom, there's black and gray pumpkins. So it makes it creepy because they're not orange. Okay. Um, and then this, I want to put this on my pantry door. It says, Apothecary Shop, a Cabinet of Curiosities, Tonic, Potions, and Antibiotics. So, you have different elixirs. What does that say? Raven Feathers, Black Magic, Poison. And then there's spiders and spider webs and just, I don't know. I liked it. And I was like, ooh, I want to put that in the pantry. So got that and then okay so that's all for the signs now you know I always get uh, window window clings window stickies I don't know so I got some at Dollar Tree and then I got one from Walmart and because Walmart hadn't come out with their Halloween stuff yet and I was like well I need window stickies you know I'm not the happiest about these window stickies, but whatever. So, because to me this looks like kiddish, but whatever. Okay, it says trick or treat, Halloween, you have a haunted house, you have little ghosties, which I think are so cute because you can see they have like ghosty faces. And then you've got a black cat with bow tie, so he's official because he's got the bow tie. You've got this skeleton and a pumpkin. And this witch, she looks very friendly, and she actually looks like one of my friends that I used to work with, which is so strange. I totally need to take a picture and send this to her. <laughs> but anyway, she's probably making poison, but she's very happy about it. Very, very happy about it. So we have that, and then my husband picked these out. They're little tombstones. It says, rest in peace my rickety bones in my bougie spot what here lies that 
Here lies the goat. That's funny. Waiting for my scary docu series to drop. <laughs> I did not read these. He said this, and so I just put it in the cart. I am totally ghosting you. Oh, that's funny. That feeling when you lost all feeling. LOL, dead. <laughs> those are actually quite funny. I like those. Okay. He did a good job picking those out. And then I picked these out. Even though they're kiddish and they're glittery, I don't care. The window stickies are pretty much for me. So. Pumpkins. I'm trying to show you the glitter. But I know it's hard with the glare and stuff. But here's the bunch of pumpkins. Or jack-o'-lanterns, whatever. Whatever, you know what I mean. I just love glitter. You know I do. And the window stickies are mine, so they can be a little kiddish, I guess. Uh, and then I got this one at Walmart, so it was $1.27 instead of $1.25. But we have bats all over the place. We've got the moon. We have the crow on the skull. It says trick or treat. Eek. Boo. Happy Halloween. But these are like quote things. So I'll have to make some of the pumpkins can say them. Oh yeah. That'd be cute. So anyway, those are that. Uh, let me see if I can move some of this stuff. There's lots of crinkles coming up. Lots of crinkles. I'll get those in a second. Okay, and then my daughter picked out a bunch of Halloween floral um, because they both have these little vases in their room on their bedside tables, and I change them out like every season or holiday. And they have some already, but my daughter saw these and she was like, oh my god, we have to get these. So, she picked these out. So, we have some slightly glittery, it's like minimal amount of glitter, um, black, black leaves. And then we have, there is slight glitter on these roses as well. And I don't know if you can see, but inside the roses, it's purple. It's like purple with black tip roses, which are actually kind of pretty. I like them. And then we also have this little, I don't know what these are. What does it say? Eucalyptus. It's, it looks like dark brown eucalyptus with like a little gold glitter, but so we got this but i really like these the leaves like i don't know i just like them i wonder if you can turn them around yeah you can but anyway so she got two of these since they have uh two vases but i don't know They'll have to figure out who gets what, because she didn't get two of each thing. But I still have, like, flowers from last year, the Halloween stuff, so... You know, maybe we can mix and match. I don't know. But, so, my daughter picked all of these out. And then we have a bunch of crinklies. I got these at Walmart, and they are door covers. The, the sign on their door goes on the inside of the door, but on the outside of the door, I like door covers, like Red Christmas or Halloween. And so they came out with some, they came out with one as Halloween, so they're both going to have the same door cover, which I don't like. But, so I got two of these. These were 99 cents at Walmart, and it is a black cat on a tombstone in front of a full moon with bats and a creepy tree in the background. Isn't that cute? Not cute. Isn't it spooky? <laughs> anyway, so I got 
two of these for the kids. And then, you know me, I have napkins. I got four different napkins. I think two of them are from Walmart and two of them are from Dollar Tree. I know this one is from Walmart. This was 97 cents and it has 16 pieces. It's just a skull. So, got that one. And then, I believe this is from Walmart as well. Yes, because it's from Celebrate, which is a Walmart brand. 97 cents. And it comes with 16 pieces. It says, Happy Halloween. Because you know I like to put these napkins in my kids' lunches. And I like to alternate them, you know? So. I like it. Okay, and these next ones came from Dollar Tree. Nope. This one came from Walmart as well. <laughs> this one came from Walmart as well. It's 97 six, 16 pieces. It's just a bunch of orange and black, very happy jack-o'-lanterns. Cute little pumpkins. And then there's black and orange stars in the background as well and then this one came from Dollar Tree I did not like it but Walmart hadn't had their stuff out yet and I was like well I need to have some kind of napkin in case you know right before school so I got this at Walmart it is kiddish but I don't care okay so it's 125 and you get 24 napkins and it's a little scene with all these characters, you have Frankenstein's monster, a witch, a skeleton, a werewolf, a mummy, a uh, Dracula, and then you've got these cute mm, jack at the bottom, got a little bag. It is cute. And the kids, the kids really like it when I put different napkins in. They're like, what napkin are we going to get today? So, I'm glad that they enjoy it as much as I do. <clears throat> okay, uh, the next thing that I got are books. But they're not really books, they're actually like containers, but I'm going to be using them as books for decoration. So... I got these all at Dollar Tree. This is a witch's guide to brooms, brooms, wands, uh, the empirical almanac of enchant enchantments for brooms, wands, and staffs. It's shiny. And then there's the side. And then there's that side. Look, there's a spidey. Ew. It like built a little spider web. Gross. But you can put things inside as well. You know, you could put like your little decorations in there. And all these books like stack inside of each other, which is, I think is really cool because it saves space, you know? But anyway, so we got that. And then I got this one, which is the Complete Fortune Teller's Handbook, uh, Palm Readings, Tarot Cards, and Ancient Methods. Don't let the future surprise you. I know it's kind of hard to see because of the glare. And then there's the side. So there's that one, and then this one is the biggest one out of all of them, but I think it's really pretty on the side. Um, this is Purity, Healing, Balance, True and Revealing, Are You a Good or a Bad Witch, The Mystical Secrets of the Light and Dark Magic 
ambition, power, and vitality. And then the side. Look at the side. Isn't that so pretty? It's so pretty. So, anyway. I have these little books to place randomly. I don't know. And then the last thing that I got, the last two things that I got are blankets. I got these at Dollar Tree and I did get them in the five below section. These were five bucks. They are seasonal little throws. Um, and this one, I know it's kind of hard to see the design, but it's uh, it's spider web. It's really soft. Um, how big is this? It's 50 by 60. So it's not that big, you know. Um, but it's a little seasonal throw that the kids can use. Um, and it's got silver spider webs. I got this one for my daughter. Uh, cause my son doesn't really like spider stuff. I'm assuming there's gotta be some spiders on here, you know, with all the spider webs. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I got this one for my daughter. And then for my son, I got this one, which was also $5. And it's hard to see this as well, but there are little skeletons on it. Or like skull and uh crossbones but they're like really soft really really soft and i like the the design like it's not paisley but i don't know how to describe it it's real pretty i don't know but it, there's skull and crossbones on it so it makes it manly okay Anyway, so, see, I got, like, a bunch of stuff, but it's like, you, I need new stuff. I need it. <laughs> My daughter was like, why do you have to buy stuff every year? And I'm like, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> anyway, so, I really hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.